Christmastide also Christmas time or the Christmas season is a season of the liturgical year in most Christian churches. In some Christian denominations, Christmastide is identical to Twelvetide, a similar concept. For most Christian denominations, such as the United Methodist Church and the Roman Catholic Church, Christmastide begins on Christmas Eve at sunset or first Vespers, which is liturgically the beginning of Christmas Day. Most of Christmas Eve, understood as the 24th of December, is thus not part of Christmastide, but of Advent, the season in the church year that precedes Christmastide. In many liturgical calendars, Christmastide is followed by the closely related season of Epiphanytide. There are several celebrations within Christmastide, including Christmas Day, the 25th of December, St. Stephen's Day, the 26th of December, Childermas, the 28th of December, the Feast of the Holy Family on New Year's Eve, the 31st of December, the Feast of the Circumcision of of Christ, the Solemnity of Mary, Mother of God and New Year's Day the 1st of January, as well as Epiphany Eve or Twelfth Night the evening of the 5th of January. Customs of the Christmas season include carol singing, gift giving, seeing nativity plays, attending church services, and eating special food, such as Christmas cake. Traditional examples of Christmas greetings include the Western Christian phrase, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and the Eastern Christian greeting, Christ is born to which others respond, "...glorify him". <laughs> Dates Christmastide begins very early on 25 December. Historically, the ending of Christmastide was 5 January. This traditional date is still followed by the Anglican Church and Lutheran Church, where Christmastide, commonly called the Twelve Days of Christmas, lasts twelve days, from 25 December to 5 January, the latter date being named as Twelfth Night, however, the ending is defined differently by some Christian denominations. In 1969, the Roman Rite of the Catholic Church expanded Christmastide by a variable number of days. Christmas time runs from up to and including the Sunday after Epiphany or after 6 January." Before 1955, the twelve Christmastide days in the Roman Rite the 25th of December to the 5th of January were followed by the eight days of the Octave of Epiphany, 6–13 January, and its 1960 Code of Rubrics defined, "'Christmastide' as running, "'From I Vespers of Christmas to none of 5 January inclusive." History In 567, the Council of Tours, "...proclaimed the twelve days from Christmas to Epiphany as a sacred and festive season, and established the duty of Advent fasting in preparation for the feast." Christopher Hill, as well as William J. Federer, states that this was done in order to solve the administrative problem for the Roman Empire as it tried to coordinate the solar Julian calendar with the lunar calendars of its provinces in the east." Ronald Hutton adds that, while the Council of Tours declared the twelve days one festal cycle, it confirmed that three of those days were fasting days, dividing the rejoicing days into two blocks. The council held at Tours also spoke of a three-day fast at the beginning of January as an ancient custom, and ordered monks to observe it. In that canon, which dealt with the fasts to be observed by monks, the council decreed De Eaeanis. In Augusto, quia quotidi missi sanctorum sunt, prandium habiant. De decembri usque ad natali domini, omni di iaeunant. Et quia inter natali domini et epiphania omni di festivitates sunt, itemqua prandibant. Excipiter triduum illid, quo ad calcandum gentilium consuetudinum, patres nostri statuarunt provatas in calendis januari fieri litanias. On fasting. In August, because each day there are masses of the saints, let them have a full meal. In December until Christmas, they are to fast each day. Since between the Nativity of the Lord and Epiphany there are feasts on each day, they shall have a full meal, except during the three day period on which our fathers established private litanies for the beginning of January, in order to tread down the custom of the Gentiles. In medieval era Christendom, Christmastide lasted from the Nativity to the Purification. To this day, the 
Christian cultures in Western Europe and Latin America extend the season to forty days, ending on the Feast of the Presentation of Jesus in the Temple and the Purification of Mary on 2 February, a feast also known as Candlemas because of the blessing of candles on this day, inspired by the Song of Simeon, which proclaims Jesus as a light for revelation to the nations. Many churches refer to the period after the traditional twelve days of Christmas and up to Candlemas, as Epiphanitide, also called the Epiphany season. Traditions During the Christmas season, various festivities are traditionally enjoyed and buildings are adorned with Christmas decorations, which are often set up during Advent. These Christmas decorations include the nativity scene, Christmas tree, jingle bells, as well as various Christmas ornaments. In the Western Christian world, the two traditional days on which Christmas decorations are removed are Twelfth Night and Candlemas. Any not removed on the first occasion should be left undisturbed until the second. Leaving the decorations up beyond Candlemas is considered to be inauspicious. On Christmas Eve or Christmas Day, the start of Christmastide, it is customary for most households in Christendom to attend a service of worship or Mass, in which they receive Holy Communion. During the season of Christmastide, in many Christian households, a gift is given for each of the twelve days of Christmastide, while in other Christian households, gifts are only given on Christmas Day or Twelfth Night, the first and last days of the festive season, respectively. The practice of giving gifts during Christmastide, according to Christian tradition, is symbolic of the presentation of the gifts by the three wise men to the infant Jesus. In several parts of the world, it is common to have a large family feast on Christmas Day, preceded with grace. Desserts such Christmas cake are unique to Christmastide. In India, a version known as Allahabadi cake is popular among the Christian population, and consumption of it has spread to other parts of the world. During the Christmas season, it is also very common for Christmas carols to be sung at Christian churches, as well as at the footsteps of houses—in the latter scenario, groups of Christians go from one house to another sing Christmas carols, a form of evangelism. Popular Christmas carols include, "'Silent Night", "'Come, Thou Long Expected Jesus", "'We Three Kings", "'Down in Yon Forest", "'Away in a Manger", "'I Wonder as I Wander", God rest ye merry, gentlemen. There's a song in the air. And let all mortal flesh keep silence. In the Christmas season, as with Eastertide, it is very common for television stations to air feature films relating to Christmas and Christianity in general, such as The Greatest Story Ever Told and Scrooge. On St. Stephen's Day, the second day of Christmastide, people traditionally have their horses blessed, and on the feast of St. John the Evangelist, the third day of Christmastide, wine is blessed and consumed. Throughout the twelve days of Christmastide, many people view nativity plays, among other forms of musical and theatrical presentations." In Russia, Christmastide, understood as the period between Orthodox Christmas and Epiphany, is often referred to as Sivetki. During this period, Russians perform fortune-telling by the use of shadows, candles, wax, and boots to predict future marriages. Maidens who participate in the ceremony have to shed everything that «hinders» the flow of spirits including their belts and rings. They also have to let their hair down. Liturgy Western Christianity Readings Christmas Midnight Isaiah chapter 9 verses 1 to 6 Titus chapter 2 verses 11 to 14 Luke chapter 2 verses 1 to 14 Christmas Day Isaiah chapter 52 verses 7 to 10 Hebrews chapter 1 verses 1 to 6 John chapter 1 verses 1 to 18 The 26th of December Acts chapter 6 verses 8 to 10 7 54 to 59 Matthew chapter 10 verses 17 to 22 Feast of the Holy Family the last Sunday of the calendar year but the 30th of December if Christmas falls on Sunday a. Sirach 3 to 2 minus 6, 12 to 14, Colossians chapter 3 verses 12 to 21, Matthew chapter 2 verses 13 to 15, 19 to 23. B. Genesis chapter 15 verses 1 to 6, 21, 1 to 3, Hebrews chapter 11, 8, 11 to 12, 17 to 19, Luke chapter 2 verses 22 to 40. 
c. 1 Samuel 1 verses 20–22, 24–28, 1 John 3 verses 1–2, 21–24, Luke 2 verses 41–52, the 27th of December 1st John chapter 1 verses 1 to 4 John chapter 20 verses 2 to 8 The 28th of December 1st John chapter 1 verse 5 minus 2 to 2 Matthew chapter 2 verses 13 to 18 The 29th of December 1st John chapter 2 verses 3 to 11 Luke chapter 2 verses 22 to 35 the 30th of December 1st John chapter 2 verses 12 to 17 Luke chapter 2 verses 36 to 40 The 31st of December 1st John chapter 2 verses 18 to 21 John chapter 1 verses 1 to 18 The 1st of January Holy Mary Mother of God Numbers chapter 6 verses 22 to 27 Galatians chapter 4 verses 4 to 7 Luke chapter 2 16 to 21 the 2nd of January 1st John chapter 2 verses 22 to 28 John chapter 1 verses 19 to 28 The 3rd of January 1st John chapter 2 verse 29 minus 3 to 6 John chapter 1 verses 29 to 34 The 4th of January 1st John chapter 3 verses 7 to 10 John chapter 1 verses 35 to 42 the 5th of January 1st John chapter 3 verses 11 to 21 John chapter 1 verses 43 to 51 Epiphany of the Lord Isaiah chapter 60 verses 1 to 6 Ephesians chapter 3 verses 2 to 3 5 to 6 Matthew chapter 2 verses 1 to 12 in places where Epiphany is celebrated later than the 6th of January the 6th of January 1st John chapter 5 verses 5 to 13 Mark chapter 1 verses 7 to 11 the 7th of January 1st John chapter 5 verses 14 to 21 John chapter 2 verses 1 to 11 after celebration of epiphany Monday or the 7th of January 1st John chapter 3 verse 22 minus 4 to 6 Matthew chapter 4 verses 12 to 17 23 to 25 Tuesday or the 8th of January 1st John chapter 4 verses 7 to 10 Mark chapter 6 verses 34 to 44 Wednesday or the 9th of January 1st John chapter 4 verses 11 to 18 Mark chapter 6 verses 45 to 52 Thursday or the 10th of January 1st John chapter 4 verse 19 minus 5 to 4 Luke chapter 4 verses 14 to 22 Friday or the 11th of January 1st John chapter 5 verses 5 to 13 Luke chapter 5 verses 12 to 16 Saturday or the 12th of January 1st John chapter 5 14 to 21 John chapter 3 verses 22 to 30 The 13th of January baptism of the Lord A Isaiah chapter 42 verses 1 to 4 6 to 7 Acts chapter 10 verses 34 to 38 Matthew chapter 3 verses 13 to 17 B Isaiah chapter 55 verse 1 minus 11 over 1 John chapter 5 verses 1 to 9 Mark chapter 1 verses 7 to 11 C Isaiah chapter 40 verses 1 to 5 9 to 11 Titus chapter 2 verses 11 to 14 3 to 4 minus 7 Luke chapter 3 verses 15 to 16 21 to 22 Topic Eastern Christianity In the Eastern Orthodox Church, Christmas is the third most important feast after Pascha and Pentecost. The day after, the Church celebrates the Synaxis of the Theotokos. This means that St. Stephen's Day and the Feast of the Holy Innocents fall one day later than in the West. The coming of the wise men is celebrated on the feast itself. For more information, see Nativity Fast and Christmas Eve. See also Christmas and holiday season Advent Epiphany season Nativity fast Embertide References, <references>